Hey, vegan cyclist, let's do a little real talk about work, life, play, balance. Managing being a father, a husband, business owner, athlete. How do I do it? How should you do it? Let's talk about it. But I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a business owner, two businesses, and an athlete, and a YouTuber. Managing these things is difficult. It's not easy to do, but I'm not alone in this. You probably wear a lot of hats too. You might be a student, a son, a daughter, a sister, a brother, a friend, an employee, whatever it is. We all have a lot of things uh, vying for our time. And it's really been scientifically proven that multitasking is less efficient than doing one thing at a time. It might feel more efficient, but it's really not. And everyone talks about balance. How do I have balance in my life? I want everything to be perfectly straight across. I'm gonna give a little bit of my time to everything. And I don't agree with that. And I'll tell you why. The greatest things I've ever achieved in my life have come from times of complete chaos and disorder. You know, new life birthing from the ashes of a disastrous life or something of that sort, right? Just being all over the place and having zero balance in my life births and creates something that I am really proud of. Now I'm not saying your life shouldn't be balanced. I just think that should be like the baseline. Having routine and and uh, an order and something that you constantly feel comfortable with. I really like having a routine. I get up in the morning, I do X, Y, Z, go to bed. That is your autopilot. That helps you uh, stay in shape and stay fit and stay uh, your nutrition is really good that way balance is great but let's say if I tried to be uh, the best father ever the best husband ever the best business owner ever and the best cyclist ever I'm going to be none of those things to any of those things I'm gonna suck I'm gonna be a crappy father I'm gonna be a mediocre husband I'm gonna be a run-of-the-mill cyclist and my business is gonna suffer so what I like to do is laser in maybe maybe one hour to a whole three weeks might be just i'm gonna laser in and focus on this one thing i'm going to for the next three weeks try to really improve my cycling fitness or this week i'm gonna try to make my son the happiest i can possibly make him or this day i am going to just completely turn myself inside out for work. I've done 24 hour work days before where it is just, you know, from morning to night, you're crushing it. And I know for me, that's not necessarily how that fits to you because I work from home and I kind of make my own hours and it's a little bit different. So you couldn't really like go to the library and check out a thousand books and then take a week off. You know, I know that doesn't totally work, but focusing on something with laser precision will help you get that thing done much quicker, much more efficiently, better, and then you'll feel accomplished. And in my life, ac accomplishing things, it gives me so much motivation. Because I've got so much going on, I've got videos in the works, you know, I, I obviously want my son to be super happy, I've got to manage my relationship with my wife, which is, it doesn't matter what, how great of a relationship you have, it's always something you have to work towards. You can never slip up on your relationships. And then work i mean that pays for the bills and i want to be great at all those things but to just kind of me eh, right if i just was sort of a good father all the time and sort of a good business owner and sort of a good husband you're not going to be able to have these things of achievements these 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 goldy sh gold shiny little medallions that you can say i've accomplished i've done i've knocked off I don't really have a schedule of how I do it. I kind of just transfer my energy from one thing to another. I really try to make sure that, you know, overall, over like the whole year, my life is balanced. But breaking it up, just like a good training program. Really, honestly, like cycling, training programs, the best ones are periodization, taking small little blocks. So you have an on block and then you have a rest block, then you have a recovery and a build and a rest and a, and a you know, a taper. All these different blocks make up for a well-balanced training pro program over the year. But when you laser in on it, it's not very balanced. You're going out and you're drilling yourself one day and you're going no, not very fast the next, but overall you'll have balance. So it's like a mesh of the two, right? Super laser guided focus on 
what your life needs at that moment, but then spreading that same amount of energy over everything when you have the time to do those things. Finding yourself in a rut is definitely a thing that happens where you kind of feel, I'm doing so much, but I'm accomplishing nothing. And at those times I feel like that's when I've spread myself way too thin and I need to regroup and just say, okay, what am I gonna get done today? I'm gonna finish this website. I'm gonna send out this email. I'm gonna take my son to the lake. I don't know, whatever. You know, it might be, again, it's totally different for you than it is for me. But in times where you're sort of like, get something done and you will feel better. Now I've talked about this before, like the four hour work week is something that I'm really inspired by and I definitely could work harder, longer, maybe have more, but it doesn't equate into happiness. I could work 12 hours a day. I wouldn't necessarily accomplish double or triple what I would have if I had only worked three or four hours in the day. You just get fatigued. And so that's why when you spread yourself too thin, you try to chase this balanced life, you might not get a lot done. You might feel really overwhelmed with everything. But here's the thing about advice. It, it, it's not completely tailored. I'm not giving you a fitted piece of advice. That advice has to be manipulated for you and your life. And this is with anything. Any advice you get from anyone about diet or training or relationships, you try to find a little nugget of knowledge inside of that present of advice to you. And maybe all of it is junk, but you're gonna have to apply that to your life and fit it to you the best because only you know you. I got kind of sidetracked on this video, so sorry. I hope that you can pull something out of this. But again, the idea here, the overall arcing idea is that a balanced life is your baseline it's something you go to when you don't have too much going on it's your routine but outside of that above that when you're ready to accomplish some things when you're ready to become an amazing cyclist or conquer a new diet get healthy lose weight find a new job build a little peak and valleys in everything else and laser guide your focus in on that one thing you want to accomplish you'll get it done sooner faster more efficiently and i think ultimately you'll kick ass as always guys vegan cyclist yeah